there with a little bit of a philosophy lesson. I'm I am not the best philosopher. I, I don't know all of the work by Plato and Aristotle and all these kind of people. I definitely recommend you go read their books that they have written themselves. And I definitely recommend you go check out Wi-Fi, uh, Wireless Philosophy. That's what I kind of learned about all of this. But this is basically going to be a quick summary of all these philosophers' um, views on attaining the good life. Right? These, these are how they think how you attain the good life, a happy life. Or a life of good well-being. Now, what they said was that it needs to be a balance of virtuism and happiness, right? But also at the same time, virtuism and happiness, they're kind of these opposing forces, like negative and positive. Like they want to repel each other. And they don't usually mix well. And what I mean by this, say that you have a project due on Tuesday, but today is Monday. And you have about a week's time to complete it. And now, there's one thing you can do. Right? I mean, there's two things you can do. You can do the virtuous thing, which is, right, you grind out all the work, you spread it out through the week, you work consistently, and you get it done, say, by Friday, and you have Saturday, Sunday, Monday to chill, maybe to edit it, and yeah, you have that time, and in that time, you really think to yourself, wow, you know, I, I'm feeling great now. And if you've ever done something ahead of time, you know, you feel great, you're like, wow, you know, push myself, really got this stuff done now, I can chill, maybe reward myself, I can watch some YouTube videos now, maybe do something I like, or maybe start on the next project, have a little bit of rest, extra sleep, something like that, so you, you have to have this time, you know, this time of like happiness, right, after you've done this virtuous thing, or you can be number two, wait until Monday night to do it, and you just splurge yourself in experiential happiness. Things like watching YouTube videos, having cake, watching TV, you know, just messing around and procrastinating on whatever you want to do. Those kind of things, are those are experiential happiness. That's why they say they're opposing, right? At the same time, you want to be happy in the moment and you want to do all, you know, these fun things. But at the same time, you know, you know, at the back of the mind, you should be virtuous. You know, you should do in the, you should put in the work because you know it's going to come one day. Might as well do it now rather than later because now is safer, right? You have that in your mind. But then now these things are constantly battling each other for what you should do in the moment now, what, what you should take action on. And what they say on the good life is, is that there's this balance here and that is important to achieve. Right, and then you need to be virtuous, right? In order to be virtuous, right? And I mean, in order to be happy, you must be virtuous. So what they mean by this is that, say, I like to use this example, that's um, a good way I like to look at it, and that's the way I like to understand it. So let's say you go to the gym, right? When you're going to the gym and you're working hard, say for an intense hour, intense one hour of hard work, right? You're bench pressing, you're doing pull-ups, you're squatting, you're doing all those kind of things. And it's hurting in the moment. It's pain, it's pain, it's pain in the moment. You're just wishing every single second that you're there. You're wishing it could be over. And when you're in the breaks between your sets, you're just wishing, oh my God, I don't want to go back and start it again in the next minute, right? You are in the moment, you're like, oh my God, this is the worst thing ever. I'd rather be doing something else. I'd rather be sitting on the couch and having ice cream. But afterwards... After you've done that hard work, after you've given it all you have, after that, you look back in the moment and you're like, Whew, you know what, I really pushed myself hard, I did everything I could, and now I feel great about myself. I feel great that I've put in the time and to invest in myself to be stronger, better, improved, all these kind of things. Also, you know, when I was mentioning that example about a project, you know, smarter, more prepared, all these kind of things, you know, all these kind of things need you to be happy. Right? This is a long-term happiness that will last more than the moment because if you do have some kind of principle, or some kind of morality within you during this experiential happiness, in the moment when you're watching YouTube videos and procrastinating about what really needs to be done and, and what actually needs to be done that will have some kind of future greater value than it, than it does now. And so in the moment, you're in the gym, you're not really, you know, after you've done one push-up, you're not going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's only after many years. And so it's kind of sacrificing for that in-the-moment pleasure, for that pleasure in the future that will be greater. But also, as you do it step by step, right, all these virtuous actions step by step, we gain that pleasure. And why is because 
when we do these virtuous actions out of the principles we have in our head, the principles of courage, fortitude, um, I'm trying to think of humility, honesty, bravery, all these kind of things. You can, you can always think about all of these virtuous things, right? These kind of things, when we, when we, when these virtues and when these principles are used as the moral driver for our actions, that's when we can start experiencing this happiness, this long-term, more fulfilled happiness where we don't feel guilty for splurging, right? That maybe afterwards, after you've done a workout, maybe at the end of the week, you can have one scoop of ice cream. We're not going to feel guilty. We're going to feel deserving of those kind of rewards, those kind of things of happiness. When you're in the moment, you tend to feel guilty. That's because the guilt is formed from not you not having these virtuous, where your actions are not being driven by these virtuous principles by these morals and that's the kind of thing you know that that's what i now i'm going to try to drill into my brain is that you know you need to you know put in the work now and later you know later stuff will be better invest in the long game and i was just recently watching about gary vaynerchuk and he was saying um you're not going to die soon you know i mean assuming you're not 90 you're not going to die anytime soon right so might as well play the long game what he meant by that is that, you know, we're not going to die the next day of flu because, you know, we have all these advancements in technology. We're not going to die because of flu or a mosquito bite, right? We're going to live for a long time and we should play the long game. And you, know, you can also um, compare this to Stoicism and Epicurism, where Stoicism, that's really investing in the future. And Epicurism, that's really in the moment happiness, YOLO, right? Because, you know, we might die tomorrow. No. There's no guarantees in life, you know, might just get, I might just go outside now and get struck by lightning. That might happen. So, nature don't give a fuck and then it might just strike you down or, I don't know, maybe an earthquake, a huge hole might just appear underneath you and you just fall and die. Right? That's why you should have this in a balance. That's what they were talking about, this being in a balance. Right? You act virtuously, you know, you, you play the long game. And then every now and then, you, you, you have this escapism right that's what people like to call it right gary vaynerchuk who himself said play the long game and who himself lives by what he preaches right he preaches what he practices right he has this what he calls an escapism where you know he watches the new york jets right he watches them play I mean, right let's give another example elon musk you know maybe after many days of endless hours working at spacex tesla and and Solar City and all whatever companies he has, right? He goes and maybe plays video games for an hour, or maybe the whole night, for a weekend or every once in a while. Yes, those are those things that brings him happiness. But he's virtuous. He's building up SpaceX. He's taking us to Mars. He's playing the long game. But now, before I prolong this video out and you know just start rambling about the same things about playing the long game, is that I want to remind you that. Balance is key to achieving the things you want in life, right? So let me give one last example. You can you can be cowardice, or you can be, you know, overconfident, or what's the other word? Arrogant. But here, there's courage in the middle. We just we act with this kind of bravery, right? We all have this balance, this balance of maybe being timid, and you know, overconfident. You know, we can have this balance of humility. And that we're, we're, what is what we're trying to achieve here, this kind of balance, which which brings us, which which brings us to the opportunity of attaining the good life. One more thing before I close out this video is that not this stuff isn't achieved the next day, but guess what? You can start seeing progress the next day. You can start being more happier the next day by doing more virtuous things. It's all about that step by step process, as Charlie Munger says. Um, it's, it's not about getting there at fast spurts. But it's about taking those baby steps. Paraphrase there. Don't know the quote exactly. Should. So, hope you guys learned something useful. I'm going to try and apply this as best as I can in my own life. And I hope it brought you guys some value because I thought this stuff was really cool. Some cool shit happening here. And I wanted to bring it into your life. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And I want you to kind of just admit to yourselves. One of the, when were those times, you know, you were... Uh, you know, splurging in these kind of, you know, experience happening, this happiness, and you were feeling guilty about it, just comment that below, and anything else you want me to talk about, please, 
post on below basically what i'm doing is i'm just talking about the kind of stuff i want to talk about and you know the all cool stuff i'm learning so catch you guys later